Welcome back ladies and gentlemen to a triple whammy episode of Lego Alleyway. I'm your host Gehausen and today we have these three sets 41018, 41019, 41017. It's on these little tiny mini bags. They are five dollars each. I thought they were pretty cool and they're in these tiny little bags. So you get a cat, a squirrel, and a turtle. Alright, so I have my trusty old little container here. So I'm going to open this cat bag. Let's see what we get. It's like opening, opening an extra large minifigures bag. I guess this is series one and series one is basically the cat, squirrel, and turtle. So you get a mini instruction book here of how to build this thing. bag of Legos. There's the cat. So right in front of the other two containers here for the other two. So let's take a look at the turtle. Ooh. It's the same thing. Get a nice little instruction book. Get a nice shell, seashell. And I guess you can combine all three to make this grand one. This is the last one. Here is the turtle bag. Is the squirrel bag? Is the squirrel instruction booklet? Don't ask me why I got these. Just caught my eye, and I thought, hey, these look pretty cool. And then everybody was looking at me when I was buying this, so, whatever. Okay, here are all three of them built up. So here is the cat and his set. You can actually put a bow tie on top of the cat's head. And no, I'm not going to put a bow tie on top of this cat's head. Alright guys, you got me. I put a bow tie on top of the cat's head. So, here is the cat epically equipped with a bow tie. Ready to scratch your face off. This actually is a scratching post. Um, Believe, me, believe it or not, it took me a little bit to figure that out. I had no idea what that was. I don't know what was what I was thinking. But anyways, I wanted to show you how small these guys are in, your, in the hand view. So this is a hand view. And you can see how tiny it is in my hand. So there you go. That is the cat. And you can actually raise this ramp up if you want. Let's go next to the squirrel. Now the squirrel is much nicer. I actually like the squirrel much better. 
This is not a catapult where you launch food into its mouth. Uh, I actually just put this on here because I had no room to put the tray anywhere. But the tray usually goes on the side. And then the ramp is for the squirrel, the little squirrel to come down. And what's neat about the squirrel's house is you can actually open it up. And then the squirrel, you actually put the bow tie on the little tail here, so it balances the it balances a ribbon on the tip of its tail. And if you guys want to take a look at how tiny this thing is, that's how tiny it looks in the palm of your hand. Pretty small. And that's what it looks like up close and personal. Let me show you the cat. The cat was a little disappointing because, not mainly because of design, but because if you could see, I can just hold this steady enough. You see the paint on its mouth? It looks like it's got a five o'clock shadow. Um, that's not really what I'm expecting to get, especially out of Lego. I wish they did a little bit of a better paint job on this thing. Especially when you're paying, I guess, five bucks for it. Still nice, but I know, and I know it's kind of difficult to paint on these tiny little figurines. But, come on, spray a little bit more paint on it. But anyways, yeah, back to the squirrel. This is Squirrel's house. Transformers! There you go. Got a little tree house there. And then last but not least, the Ninja Turtle, the baby Ninja Turtle. And his house, he's actually got a little beach house, which is pretty nice. Paradise in heaven it's got a little clamshell here to give it the beach effect look whoa <laughs> and then there is the top of his little beach house there pretty nice and then there is there he is in the palm of my hand pretty small and i think the bow tie, oh there it is, goes on top of the head, which is pointless because <laughs> it's so big, it just covers its whole head, so let's just leave that off. But the paint job on this is much nicer. Anyways. And that is series one of the friends pets. They don't need to be friends pets. Actually, if they were called something else, I'm pretty sure uh, it might probably sell more. Because I think these are pretty cool. You get these little pets, and I think they'll go very well with uh, probably that modular pet store set. I'm not sure if these are if the pet store is big enough to put their homes inside, but you can definitely put these little guys in there. You know, make a nice addition to your pet store. But anyways, this is pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you very much for watching this mini episode. I know there's not very many Lego friend fans, but uh, I was just going to post this review just to have it out there, just so you guys could just see. Just so you guys, if you, any of you were curious as to what were in these bags, which I was, that's why I bought it. I was like, hmm, that's interesting. This is what's inside. You get a bunch of these and just a lot of different color pieces as well. A lot of extra, a tremendous amount of extras. And that's about it.
Thanks for watching.